Hey Automators, I'm Jeff, and today we're going to integrate USPS Inform Delivery with Home Assistant to get... Pardon me, but USPS is delivering seven pieces of mail today. Welcome to another Home Assistant video. Like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the USPS Inform Delivery and how we can integrate that into Home Assistant. There used to be a built-in integration, but I think they've removed that and I never got it to work. So I had always gone the route that I'm going to walk through here. The beauty of this is that you can have it running on your machine. Although, to be honest, I'm not real sure how that works in a has.io dockerized world or you can have it running on another host like I do to report into MQTT and then just read a sensor out of Home Assistant which works just as well. So I'm going to kind of walk through how I've got mine set up. The source material or inspiration we're going to be using for this project is out there on the internet. You may have already found it if you've been searching for how to solve this problem or how to integrate the USPS Inform Delivery with Home Assistant. I will link to this in the description. This is a wonderful site that walks through this. You can read through this if you want to. You can follow this. These are, I think, pretty well written. This is what I used originally to set mine up. So there's some prerequisites for installing some stuff on Python. He's got in here how to set up this Home Assistant package, which if you're not using packages in your setup, you can just split all of these, the customized entries, the group, the sensor, the camera into their respective places in your configuration. Then there's essentially this Python script, which is what we're going to be leveraging as well. And you just have to update the details in here with your MQTT server location, the authentication, the topics you want to post to, the email address that you're going to be logging into, because that's essentially how this works is it logs into your email, looks for the inform delivery daily email you get, gets a count of the mail, grabs a, all the images, pushes them together, combines them to, in together using image magic, which you installed up here. And then you can leverage that, basically publishes that file to a certain location on your box, wherever your home assistant can get to. And then that's essentially all the changes you need to make in the file and then you would set up a service to run this. You can do this using any kind of thing, PM2, uh, whatever. So I essentially just have this thing run once, usually on a cron job. Uh, I also have set this up in the past with supervisor and had it run. So all of that, all of that works super, super easy to set up. Okay, over on my GitHub, at the Jeffrey Stone, I have a repo called USPS to MQTT, which is essentially all of that data or that Python file, all the images file files packed up into a package that I could put on GitHub. This is what I use currently. So if you wanted an easy way to install this script, you could just use this repo. The installation is super simple. We're just going to clone this repo. We're going to install some requirements, which there's only two requirements. The library for managing the environment file, where we save all of our details for how this thing connects to both MQTT and to our email. We're going to install image magic, which is used for creating the image of all of the, or the composite image of all of the mail images that are in that email that you get. And then we're going to copy this sample env file into .env so it's hidden and it has all of our credentials. We're going to edit it so that it has all our credentials. Then after that, all we have to do is set up a USPS package in Home Assistant. So let me jump over onto my host and we will continue this install. So over on my host, which is essentially just another box that I have running that has some of these scripts on it. I've abstracted some of the non-critical stuff to a box that Home Assistant isn't running on so that I could easily manage them. And if something happened, 
that would cause the system to crash, it's not going to take down Home Assistant. That was just a personal preference. You can do whatever you want to. I don't know how this would work in a Hass.io Dockerized world. Essentially, this was my setup on Hasbian prior to my recent migration to Hass.io. I just left it existing. So, if you're if you're running in a Docker world, you may have to do some tweaks outside of this to make that work. That's not my expertise, but if you got any questions, you can always leave them in the comments and I will try to find an answer for you. And eventually when I get this moved over to my new host, I will update this video with that too. So essentially, we're going to come over here to this bin directory, which is where I keep all of these files in it. And we are just going to walk through this real quick. We are going to clone this. So we're going to copy this over and we're going to flip over here and we are going to clone this guy right into here. We are going to then move right into that directory. We can move on to this next step here of installing these packages. Again, this is just installing the environment package and the MQTT package. We are going to install magic, image magic. And oop, we're going to do that if we can type our password incorrectly. Then after that, we're going to copy this environment file over. And then we are going to edit it. So essentially what this does here is we're going to create a copy there. And then you just have to update this file. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to come through here and we're going to edit all of these details in here. All right, so then let's run this thing. And I'll show you what happens. It connects to MQTT. It logs into my email, it checks to see if I have any mail, it checks to see if I have any packages. It doesn't see any of that because I'm actually recording this on a Sunday. And then after that, we just have to set this thing up to run all the time. So I typically just use cron to run this because I only need this to run one time a day. So we are going to have this run at 10 a.m. each day. So we're just going to point this to my Python file there. And there we go. That's going to run now every day at 10 a.m. output to MQTT. And so now we just have to set this up on our Home Assistant host. So let's flip back over here. We're going to go over to my repo for Home Assistant right here. In my config file under packages, I have a USPS package, which is essentially exactly like the one we saw on the original website. My customization sensors, I've updated this with my specific path or topics that I'm using for those. This secret USP camera URL actually points to the web server that I'm publishing my images on. I don't use the images at all, so it doesn't really matter. It's just there in case I wanted to in the future. And then I have my notifications, like you heard in the intro, where Everyday Home Assistant announces how many pieces of mail are in the mailbox, or will be in the mailbox. It also sends out a text notification for those as well. And I will do a future video on going through my entire audible notifications that happen in the house, but essentially this is looking for when the sensor changes and then has a template here between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. to make the announcement. Um, I may work on fixing that up since it runs every day at 10. I really only need it to announce every day at 10. So that's essentially it. Now over on my home assistant, you can see I have my sensors here for my USPS mail and my packages. And again, 
I don't use the images, but you could also put the images on here and actually see that cycle through the images that you get. So I don't see much benefit in that because here we use voice for most of our interactions. We rarely are in the actual interface for Home Assistant. So seeing the images doesn't really do us any good. We'd rather just get the count of how many pieces of mail we're getting. And that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed walking through integrating USPS Inform Delivery in Home Assistant. Be sure to check out my Home Assistant configuration on GitHub. You can star it, you can follow along as I am updating it, which is almost constantly. Or you can see some of my other packages that I've started to build that are related to Home Assistant. You can follow my house on Twitter as well. It tweets throughout the day at Anchorage House 2. And I hope to have some more videos soon on Home Assistant. And in the meantime, go automate something.